Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and being a producer of Wrestle Massacre, as well as Inside Movies Galore, I am David Stregge, and welcome to Delusions of Grandeur. Enjoy the reviews. I certainly did. That's it. Screw you and your college flunkies. I've had enough of this from you and from everyone else. I know what you guys are trying to do. Break me down, drive me out of the force. Well, it's going to take a hell of a lot more than a lame prank like this to get Curtis Mooney to throw in his badge, so fuck you. Over. Did you miss me? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another exciting episode, uh, well, not an episode, review uh, from Delusions of Grandeur. I am David Stregge, and uh, hopefully um, you get a chance to check this review out. Um, it is of uh, Bloody New Year, um, which uh, I don't have in my collection, but I was able to see a very cool copy on YouTube. Um, and it, it, it uh, goes under another alternative title by the name of Time Warp Terror. And it was filmed in 1987 by a British horror film di uh, director by the name of J uh, Norman J. Warren. Now, he has uh, also directed an earlier film that I do have in my collection, which is called Inseminoid. Uh, but the film stars uh, uh, Susie Atchison, Nikki Brooks, um, Colin a a Haywood, Mark Pauly, um, Catherine Roman, and uh, uh, Julian Ronnie. Um, basically has a uh, group of teenagers trapped in a haunted t uh, uh, motel on a remote island. Um... Apparently, in 1956, a group of party go goers uh, went to celebrate New Year's Eve um, at the Grand Island Hotel. Um, and they disappeared mysteriously. Of course, decades later, um, we have a couple of young co uh, couples, Leslie and Tom, um, Janet and Rick and their friend Spud. Um, in the very beginning of the, uh, this fi uh, film, you see them at uh, 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 this um, nice little carnival circuit. Um, and uh, one of the th uh, things I, th I think you have to understand is uh, that uh, much of this pr uh, uh, production um, was filmed in and around the seaside resort of Barry Island in South Wales. Um, as far as the... Apparently there was a fun fair carnival uh, 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 of, of old that happened like every year at, at least around this to uh, time on Barry Island itself, uh, 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 itself and for a week they were actually able to um, have full use of the attractions uh, for about 300 pounds, um, which it was in 2019 equivalent to that of 885 pounds. <laughs> in so um, 
and that's that was for a week's worth of shooting. Uh, but uh, the filming at the house, the, uh, the the house in which all these hauntings evidently uh, occurred, um, were I guess at Friars Point House, uh, which is the house that was used for the Grand Island Hotel. So what happens in the carnival scene is uh, apparently there was a young lady uh, by the name of Carol um, who was being accosted by two burly um, punkish looking uh, hooligan like characters uh, who evidently were connected to um, a guy who was managing the uh, Tilt-A-Whirl in this carnival. Um, and so these group of fr uh, friends who were ultimately going to uh, go on vacation on this island anyways, um, or at least vacation somewhere, <laughs> Uh, they ended up accosting, uh, accosting the two gu uh, uh, guys and trying to stop the uh, the, uh, the whole process. And um, ultimately, uh, which ended up with the, uh, uh, them being chased by all th uh, three off the uh, off from the carnival grounds and into their schooner like boat. Uh, which their boat that they uh, went in ultimately hit something and ran aground and started to sink, which made them wade to the island which uh, in which they found themselves inside of a time warp that was stuck in 1950s on New Year's Eve. <laughs> And uh, you, you get to see um, several apparitions, one of them being an older maid who ends up gi uh, giving, I believe, it, it, um, it was Janet. Was it Janet? Yeah. Ja uh, uh, Janet or Carol. Carol it was. Um, a towel. Um, you also get to see the ghostly apparition of an airman la uh, later on, and that's the more a more distinct w a, a, a one. But ultimately, when uh, uh, Leslie, I, be I believe it was, ended up dying first, and she became a ghoul. Uh, and uh, there are several instances in here that are fairly weird, um, like. The fact that the, uh, one of the staircase uh, gargoyles uh, that looked kind of like a goose or a gander or some kind of a, du a, a duck started to move and bit um, into um, J uh, Janet's arm while she was running down the staircase. Another mo uh, moment of uh, weird uh, weirdness and grotesqueness is the fact that one of the hooligans, uh, I think the thinner guy, uh, guy ends up jumping through a, win a window, and uh, the ghoulish appearance of uh, um, Leslie ends up uh, <laughs> ends up uh, taking the guy's head and spinning it around, and you can hear it crunch and crack and gr uh, groan and. His eyes bulge out and shit, uh, shit like that. It's just uberly creepy. And then um, there's some fishnets that attack Le uh, Leslie that are ha uh, haunted, and uh, that's an interesting, um, I interesting thing that happens. I do like the fact that there is a moment wh uh, where, in one of the ro uh, ro rooms, you see this big bed, and you see it. Um, pushed down as if someone were laying inside the bed. I like that effect. effect. Um, I did like the effect that Leslie, uh, Leslie came ac across where 
uh, after the fish net attack, um, she um, ultimately was going to try to find something to wipe her cuts off with, uh, with, well, all of a sudden this, like, swamp thing-looking creature comes up out of the ta uh, table and tries to grab her, and uh, um, Rick, he ends up uh, um, stabbing the thing, and it ends up, like, oozing back into the table. <laughs> but um, they ultimately get uh, chased by laughter, um, uh, where, uh, where apparently there are people laughing and bushes shaking and things of that nature. So, uh, the things that are happening within the house get weirder and weirder as time goes on. And eventually, uh, I mean, there was a word that I don't remember ever hearing, uh, called snooker because <laughs> evidently a pool t a table is actually called a snooker table in a line that was uh, said by Leslie um, uh, where she was like have you ever uh, have you ever made out on a snooker table before <laughs> so I learned uh, I learned something new after watching it with my my friend Boris um, but um, I was entertained by this uh, 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 film. There was a lot of uh, uh, of dialogue that was uh, uh, definitely outdated, but I did like the fact that it was somewhat based on so uh, something that happened on a real Irish uh, 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 island uh, by uh, by apparently the go uh, government that uh, supposedly what caused all all of this death was uh, uh, some kind of government experiment gone wrong, you know. Uh, uh, in this particular film, they called it Operation Mirror, which I liked the effect that uh, that all these shards of glass was uh, hanging down, and you, you heard that th uh, through an SOS uh, a th a thing by, uh, by radio. Now, I don't agree with the, uh, with the fact that uh, they believe that the, uh, this... <laughs> This movie was, uh, well, it, it's been described as uh, being a feeble dump bin video quickie. Um, I actually don't think so. Now, the the music was uh, terrible. In fact, it reminded me of like something like that uh, that was like a precursor to like Beetlejuice or something like that. Uh, that. But I know that the dire uh, director uh, um, had commented negative on the f uh, film. In one interview, he described Bloody New Year as a very terrible experience for him. In fact, it turned out to be a bloody nightmare. Um, we had the wrong producers on that film, and they didn't uh, know anything about horror. So the film lacks everything in every department, and by the end of it, his heart just wasn't in it. And he added that the producers wanted to make the film cheaply and terribly quick, and that this was uh, uh, to the detriment of the music and sound effects. In another interview, Warren criticized the music, stating that it just doesn't work, which I have to agree with uh, with him. Some of the music just does not work in the f uh, film. And um, that part I can understand. Uh, 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 understand. Uh, and I guess he said on the second day of dubbing, I must confess, I, I gave up on the film. I'd run out of fight and just sat there and let them go through the motions. Warren has said that his experiences on Bloody New Year put him off making any more films. So, um, that being uh, said, I, d I still don't think that this film is as bad as... Um, some of the uh, reviewers uh, uh, say uh, uh, so. I mean, it is a goofy film. I mean, it, it, it's it's weird and che uh, cheesy, but it's not as bad as the, uh, they say, to, uh, at least to, uh, to, uh, to me. I mean, it's been called cheap and silly and evidently, evidently a fun early Herschel Gordon Lewis movie. Um... It's been uh, uh, been, uh, been uh, uh, said like a haunted house flick uh, in the interiors and a traditional zombie flick in the exteriors. 
was the middle uh, ground, a, a breeding place for the um, genuinely odd and unsettling amalgamation of both, said by D from uh, uh, JoeBlow.com, I guess. <laughs> um, I guess it's been called a wacky but interesting supernatural theme with silly special effects. Um, it's uh, it's considered a derivative of Sam Raimi's Evil Dead and uh, Lucio Fulci's The Beyond and uh, uh, things of that nature. It's been uh, it's been also uh, um, reminiscent of uh, Woody Allen's The Purple Rose of Cairo. Uh, um. It's been described as an episode of Scooby-Doo that, uh, that is sent through the filter of The Shining and Evil Dead. Which I can see elements of, I guess, Shining a little bit, uh, a, a, a bit but um, I was not really a fan of The Shining uh, entirely. Um, as you will probably uh, listen to our episode on Inside Movies Galore. Uh, where we discuss the shining uh, in 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 its entirety, <laughs> but uh, in any case, uh, I still have yet, uh, yet to record my own thoughts on the sh uh, 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 shining, which I eventually want to uh, do. But <coughs> uh, there is another instance where um, a chic like. Um, Arab character shoots out of a a, a movie um, and uh, kills one of the uh, uh, the character uh, tears, which I thought was really ingenious. So some of the effects were actually pretty cool, I thought, and weird and strange. And uh, I I think much can be sal uh, salvaged and enjoyable from the, uh, from this film then. Uh, 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 than some of the critics at, at the time. And I don't think the critics were really watching anything. And knowing uh, 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 how the critics um, watch things uh, uh, today, half the time when you go to the movie theaters, the critics aren't even sitting in their seats. Um, you don't even see them si uh, sitting through screeners. They actually wait for free, uh, uh, the free things. Um, and uh, whatnot, so... In any case, hopefully you enjoyed my uh, thoughts on this uh, uh, f uh, film. I thought the film was decent, and uh, I, I'd like to get into, into the habit of watching this each year, because uh, uh, it, it seems to be a film that is growing on me, and I'd love to pick up the Vinegar Syndrome edition of the film. Yeah, I think it's entertaining, so... Uh, uh, corny uh, though as it is I mean I think the director was very hard on himself at the, at the, at the time and I think the, uh, the producers were on a time constraint and a budget conflict so um, that is to be said within itself in any case like share and subscribe hopefully you enjoy my review of the film and uh, just go out and see it and let me know down in the comments what you thought of the film I, I I got into it. I thought it was entertaining. I didn't think the film was as bad as it was. And I may be repeating myself, but too bad. In any case, thank you and have a great day. You were good, kid. Real good. But as long as I'm around, you'll always be second best, see?